Good evening. Your miss teacher. Hi. Hi, Hi how are you? Very fine. Thank Excellent. You. Very nice. A, a little tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Every day is because it's another day of the week. All right. Very nice. Well, three days. Yes. Three days. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. All right, very good. Hi, Diana. Hi. Hi, Irene. Hi, Diana. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day today? It was a really good, really good day. Thank oh, you. Really? Yes? Yes. Did you go back to work? Yes. And I had some really good ideas for the business. Oh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So I'm kind of happy. That's nice. Very <laughs> good. All right. Thank you. All right. Very good. So how's your dad Everything at work with him? I'm sorry? What? How is your father? Ah, my father is, is, is good. Um, uh, he has the Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's oh, Parkinson's okay. Disease. Okay. Um, so he has some good days and some bad days. Right. Okay. And at the in the same in the bad days, he's trembling a lot. Right. Okay. Oops. And in the good days, he's he's good and he's working and he's happy. Okay. And yes, today he has a good day too. I think. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Very nice. How old is Thank your you. dad, Diana? Ah, uh, my dad is. Almost 70. Okay. He's going to be 70 next October. Oh, all right. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, so you. it's only you and your sister, or do you have any more brothers or sisters? Uh, yes, I have an older sister. That he's, um, he's my sister only by, by my father. Right, yeah, yeah. Your dad's <laughs> side. All right, okay. Uh -huh. well, oh, my dad's nice. side. Very nice. Yeah. And the one that is in Europe, right? Yes, the one that is in Europe. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> she's in France. My older sister, she she speaks English a lot too because oh, she's really? yes, she's she, she lives in the United States. Oh, all right, okay. So Diana, you have like a lot of people to <laughs> practice with. Yes, oh, I have to. Oh my goodness, Diana. <laughs> I have to. I have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> what about your dad? Does he speak English? Uh, yes, he likes to speak English. Uh, yes, he and he he knows uh, some some words, some words and everything. All right, yes, yes. that's nice. Very good. All right. So, since how long ago he has suffered from this uh, disease of like Parkinson? Mm, uh, like four years, I think. Oh, really? Yes. So that's why I was working in another place, and two years ago I had a, kind of I had to quit to be in charge of the business. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Hello, Williams. Hi, Nubia. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? How are you, Nubia? How was your day? I am very good. Excellent, Nubia. That's nice to that's you? nice to hear. I'm okay. It was a nice day too. <laughs> like always in front of the computer, but yeah, that's that's the job now. <laughs> right, very good. And Williams, how was your day? Uh, I worked all day. Yeah. Did you go out? No. Uh, no. At home. All okay. day at home. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Now, guys, how's everything outside? Do you know, like, how's traffic? How are the people? Have you gone outside and, and find out? Because <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> it's like that the, the, the past week. Oh, really? Last week is like the, the last week, yeah. Oh. People, people don't, don't, don't go out. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, a public transport station, uh -huh. we don't have a lot. We don't have a lot. Mm. And now it's full. Oh, okay. it's full. Yeah. So there's not so it's, much traffic, William. No, it's like oh. the. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like crowded, like before. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And what about what about in Soyapango, Diana? How's everything there? I think that here is a mess. <laughs> Why, a mess. Well, I, I went to the downtown today, uh -huh. and it was like really crowded. What do you say? Oh, really? Yeah, it was and really crowded. It, yes, it was. A, there were a, a, a lot of a lot of cars and, and a lot of people. Okay. So it, it's kind of a mess. Yes. All right. <laughs> yes. All right. Now, uh, have you felt the difference, uh, guys? Like, ha like Diana, in your case, in Soyapango, have you felt the difference between now that everything is like reopened and how it was before, or is the same? I, I think that there are more people now than than before. And, and than before, yes. Okay. Mm. And I think that people is more relaxed because I saw a, a couple of people without the mask. The mask, really? So I think mm. that the people is like relaxing the, yeah. the measures. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Well, let's see what happens then, because I don't know. <laughs> if people are relaxing already on the second day, imagine in a, in a week, everybody's gonna be like, ooh, party time. <laughs> yes. I think that too. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need. We need to be like careful. And if we if we really don't have to go out, let's not go out. <laughs> that's like that's what I think at least. <laughs> yes, that's what I I think too. It's really difficult because I I I I, I give I gave a lot of a lot of services mm -hmm. in my funeral home because of the COVID. Oh really? I think that, I think that, that I saw the really the power of this virus and I think that it's really hard and many the people is not aware yeah you know what I think I think some people don't believe it's that bad yes. and that's not good because mm -hmm. then they relax and they believe that they are very strong and that they will live forever mm -hmm. and that's not true that's you know true. I think it ha I mean they really have to go through something very difficult and to actually face it for them to understand it. And that's sad because, I mean, it is a reality and it's affecting not only our country, but it's affecting or it has affected the whole world, you know, but still people not, I mean, they don't, not everybody takes it as they should, you know. I agree with that. Yeah, very good. Williams, in your job, like, do you guys have like your own measurements as like the 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 corporation or geo, especially when you guys have to go out? Um. Okay. Uh, yes, but we don't. Okay. Uh, I think that ten percent of people who's working out from San Salvador, uh, we are going out. So the rest is uh, working at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. but yeah. when you have to go out, Williams, do you take like care of you? I mean, do you, as, as not personally speaking, but as like the company, as the, the enterprise, like do you guys take your own measurements and everything? Yeah, we have. Right. Uh, uh, for example, uh, in this case, we are uh, helping with uh, food. Mm -hmm. So when we stay at uh, communities, uh, for example, I don't uh, get off the car. Ah, okay. Yeah, I stay in, into the car all the time. Ah, okay. And people, uh, okay. I need uh, some. I need oh, how to say firmas. Signatures. Um, yeah, signatures. Okay. So uh, they come to near. Ah, uh, all right. Okay. Signature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. For example, uh, but, right? Yeah. Yeah. I see. Uh, all right. A lot of uh, protocols or protocols. 
Right. Okay. That's good. All right. Very good. Okay. Nancy, I mean, Ellie, no, Nancy. For you, for me, you're Ellie. <laughs> Hi, Hi Ellie. good evening. How are you? Nice to see you. We missed you Thank yesterday, you. Ellie. Yes, teacher. I, I know. You I have, have a lot of work. Yeah, from school, right? Work. Yes. All right. Did you finish? Uh, yes, the, the work that I think the entrega. That you had to that you had to uh, send uh-huh i sent today is go all right okay so you're finished with that that's nice yes Very good. okay yes. henrito you. no thank you henrito what happened to you yesterday uh yesterday i don't can stay in the class because i go to i have go to the funeral oh okay yes. All right. Okay, I understand. Very good. And Oscar, welcome, Oscar. Hi. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you today? I'm doing well. Um, as always. As always. Excellent. As always. I like that yes. attitude. I'm glad. I'm glad uh, um, everybody's here. Yes. Thank you, Oscar. You didn't go to work today, Oscar? No, no, no. I, this is my day off. Cool. Yeah, I'm okay. That's nice. Very good. Lucky you. <laughs> Very good. And then Jose. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Hi. How are you today, Jesse? Hi, and you, teacher? I'm okay. It was a nice day working on the computer all day, but yeah, sometimes I get a headache because, you know, I'm in front of the computer all day. <laughs> Yes, me too. Yeah, I, I work know. in the computer all day. I know, Jesse, and also Ellie, right? Because you guys are like teaching online, so that's yes has to be like that. All right, very good. Okay, what about Jose Luis? Hi, Jose Luis. Jose Luis, can you hear us? Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Yes, I can hear you. Good evening. All can right. You, can you hear me? Yeah, a little. I'm good, teacher. Okay. What about right. you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. I'm I'm happy to see you. Look, can Henry is here. Another class. That's right. <laughs> I was just yourself. waiting for everybody to be here. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> very late. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No, but you know what? I mean, it's okay. It's but the good thing is that you guys are in class already. All right, so um, guys, as I said yesterday, we're gonna be talking, not really yeah. about training anymore. I mean, we will in a way, but not the same way that we have been talking about training and professional development and training needs and everything. So we're gonna like a step up. I mean, a step out from that a little bit. So today we have a new topic. I was kind of waiting for Lorena and, and Jennifer to step in because they are like a little older than the rest of you guys, but no offense, of course. <laughs> the, the, the older thank you, and the wiser, thank you, thank you. no. <laughs> Oscar, come on. <laughs> but it's because today, guys, we're talking, I mean, this whole week, and uh, perhaps like next week, again, like it, it relates, the topics are going to be related. All right. So we're talking about generations and uh, we're talking about the different types of generations there are. All right. So the first one, why are you laughing, Williams? You know, the one that we're going to be talking about. Today. <laughs> all right. So the first generation that we are going to be talking about is uh, millennials. All right. So. Uh, I don't know if all of us from the class, Gerardo, hello. I don't know if all of us, I don't know the ages of most of you, but some of you look very young to me. So yeah, you are millennials. I know some like are millennials, all right? But I don't know if everybody is, all right? I'm on the borderline. <laughs> so that's kind of cute, eh? I'm like, oh no, when I was reading the information, I'm just like right on the borderline. So. I can consider myself a generation X and a generation, a millennial generation. <laughs> so I'll take it to my, oops, I'll take, whoa, my goodness, I'll take it to my advantage. All right. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to present to you. Hi, Gerardo. Gerardito. 
Ay, I don't know what happened yesterday to you. No, es que ayer se fueron varios. What happened? It was Monday, right, Gerardo? Missing, I'm missing. All right, very good. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you. Uh, I'm, we're, we're actually, well, I'm going to show you the PPT with some questions, all right? We are also going to be listening to two videos, short videos. We're also going to be reading some about um, the millennials, all right? And we are going, um, we're going back to the uh, book or the manual that we're using for this course and this program, okay? So we're going to be doing a little bit of everything. As I said, uh, this week and the, and the next week, the last week of the course, by the way, we are gonna be talking about generations, all right? So today we're gonna begin with the millennials or the, the generation Y, all right, or millennials, all right? And then we're gonna be like, today we're talking about characteristics, all right? And then tomorrow we're gonna be talking based on the characteristics that we talk about today, we're gonna to be talking about how millennials behave at work, okay? So the ones that are millennials can say, no, you know what, I'm not like that, and I'm, I am a millennial, but I'm not like that. Or yes, you know what, I am actually like that a little bit, all right? And then how millennials actually like behave at work, but of course, they have very good, um, I don't know, opinions, and they can have very good, influences at the at the workplace all right so we're going to be looking on that uh we're also going to be comparing generation x which is my generation eh, and the and the millennials all right so we're going to be doing like a lot of a lot of interesting things all right so again guys and i've said this to you like before this is a success if you participate all right and i know you guys are like really good at participating and everything especially because these concerns you because we belong to a generation all right so that's quite interesting oh andrea is here and i know she's a millennial <laughs> right andrea look she smiles she knows she is a millennial <laughs> all right very good okay yes. so here uh this is uh the first thing we're gonna do uh let me see here just give me a second all right so here we have uh millennials all right so i just have all right so this is what we're talking about today we're talking about the characteristics of millennials how they behave what people think about them what they think about themselves all right how do you like and then i'm going to be asking you what about you all right like so i want you guys to participate all right so the first question is who are they what do you know about millennials guys all right so it's an open discussion so tell me whatever you know about them or about you, because if you belong to that generation, then say, I'm a millennial and I'm proud of it, all right? So, and then tell us who, they, who you are and who they are, all right? So, who are millennials? Tell me, guys. They are carefree. Carefree. Cool. All right. Okay, interesting, Oscar. That's a la, la, that's a, a, a parranda you have there, a fiesta. <laughs> well, it's, it's just my, my opinion. Okay. No, 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 that's fine. All right, very good. All right, so carefree. All right, so Oscar said that millennials are carefree. Very good. Okay. So tell me something else about millennials. Anybody and everybody. I think that it's uh, are the generation born in 1981 uh -huh. or the 1980 to uh, I don't know to <laughs> 2000 or something. All like right, that. okay, all right, very good. Okay, and what do you think about them, Andrea? We are. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to her. I knew it. Huh? <laughs> well, I think that that the the. the the type of persons are the the kind of things of the millennials are different of the um, of the generation before my because generation I, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes right. i saw my in my work like uh -huh. the, the things that attract the people uh, the millennial people and the, the generation before are, are different okay and the millennials are like the we want to feels like useful okay. and like uh, valorized and or all valued things. okay valued. all right um <laughs> and, and and we care about the the environment and on mm. in our work okay the the way of think of the of the company like the philosophy mm -hmm. 
eh, en el estatus. Ok, muy bien, interesante. Nice opinión. Thank you, Andrea. And she proudly said, we are. All right, that's nice. Very good. <laughs> uh -huh. I want to hear everybody telling me something about millennials. All right. And if you don't know, say, well, I have no idea. All right. Uh -huh. So that's okay. Yes, Dianita. I think that the, the millennial generation is, uh, is in love with the idea of changing, changing everything. Okay. Because uh, every kind of business are touched by this generation. Okay. Mm, uh, for example, even the, the funeral business <laughs> have, been touched, yes, <laughs> uh -huh. have been touched by the millennial generation. And it is a, a, a business that is like, has been the same for several years. Okay. And even in, the, in my case, I think that this generation is changing the way that we do things. Okay. Because right. we want to do things with a, pur with a purpose and not only like doing things because they have to be done. All right. I think okay. that every kind of business or every kind of activity that is touched by this generation is, mm -hmm. is, is changed. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Diana. All right. What about the rest? Aha, Williams. Uh, okay, thank uh, I think millennials is a generation who loves the technologies. Okay. They can use that. Okay. If, if they don't know how to use some types of technology, so they in uh, they learning about. Okay. Um, All right. Always is, uh, is discovering different technologies or mm. Stories uh, related with computer, with cell phones, with all types of technologies, cameras. Uh, 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 all right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Williams. Yes. All right. Ellie, Jesse, Irene, Moises. Moises, we're talking about millennials. Nubia, Henry, Gerardo, Jose Luis. I want to hear from everyone. Uh huh. Yes, Moises. I think that the millennials uh, is a generation that bored with the technology. Mm -hmm. Okay. What happened to Jose Luis? He's <laughs> <it's> talking to <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you, Jose Luis. <laughs> After, when, when Moises I, finishes, I you can go on. I together with Moises. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. That image. Ah, uh, don't finish, Moy. Uh, Aha, Moises, go ahead. Continue. I finished. I finished. This is my, my point of view. But I didn't hear it because you got cut off by Jose Luis. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Millennium is an intellectual that born with the technology. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Moses. Now I got it. All right. So Moses is saying that uh, millennials is a generation that was born with technology. Very good. All right. Jose Luis, what were you going to say? Okay. In my case, I, I, I think uh, I agree with William. Because mm -hmm. the millennials, I still refer with uh, uh, all generations that, that, that uh, people it's not related with the technology like a computer or cell phone because nowadays all is about technology. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Okay, Irene, I understand. All right. Let's see. What about Jesse? What about Eli, Gerardo, Nubia? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Lisa, I, I study about the millennials, but for me, the most important in that generation is my generation too. <laughs> It's oh, about the, yes. <laughs> yes, that the, the generation is about the analytical meaning. Okay. Because all things I change in that generations mm -hmm. and continue changing in, in the Y generation, but start to in, in millennium generation. The millennium generation is the people that that born in the years 1981 and 1996. Mm -hmm. It's about that gen generations is considered millennial because it start to change 
all the four so the people think okay because that people is more free for talking mm. and for making the things and the people start to use the technologies and thinking and think they have more i don't know um, friendship with another people can be the mm. expression okay and so, for me, it's the best generation teacher. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Jesse, because you belong to it. Very nice. All right, very good. Gerardo, Nubia, Henry, Aha, uh -huh, what can you, uh, Eli, Vero, Verito, we're talking about millennials, all right? And uh, the first question is, who are they? What, what do you know about them? Uh, and, and that's what your classmates are doing, sharing some ideas and stuff about millennials, all right? Aha, uh -huh, Eli. Uh, Gerardo, Henry, Nubia. Yes. In my opinion. Yes, Gerardo. Uh, for the millennials and the trends, the, the millennials, uh, this is the first generation have a digital native. Mm -hmm. Millennials have grow up with the internet and smartphones and they always a digital world and have a connection with the other uh, international people and okay. have a, a different priorities okay priorities and, yeah and have more chance to learn that the others generation okay all right okay very good thank you gerardo henry uh, how my partner say these people that was born, the you said the technology, right? Oh, uh, they have a new value okay. because they have uh, open mind and ah. no uh, no many uh, taboo topics thing, and okay. they are more social people because you said the technology because for no uh, different people, the different culture and different countries. Okay, I get it. All right, very good. Thank you. All right. Eli, Nubia, Verito, what do you think about millennials? I I I stay agree with my coworkers. Yes. Okay. Is the generation the born with computer right. in the in the hand. Yeah, no kidding, eh? All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, Eli. Thank you. All right, very good. Aha, Verito. Nubia. Mm -hmm. The millennials, uh, they born between 1981 and 1999. Okay. Uh, they live, they change of generation mm -hmm. of the era of, of technology in internet okay the social network right example. right okay very good Nubia. thank you all right and last but not least verito what do you what do you say Can you hear us? Vero, Vero, can you hear us? Yes, teacher. Good All evening. right, so we yeah, are good evening. What do you think about millennials? Uh huh. What do you know about them? I think the millennials are, are people are people who are um in a, in advantage with the technology. Oh, very good. All right. Uh huh. I remember that I have my first cell phone <laughs> when I am in my four year of the university. Ah. And okay. I remember when I was in in high school. Okay. I have a. Uh, when I use the computer, I feel scared. Okay, very good. <laughs> yes, and now if you give a, for example, the a tablet uh, to a child, a child. Yes. Uh, the child 
use the tablet the, the tablet very nice right okay <laughs> all right very good all right okay so we everybody agrees that they were born between a certain year uh, all the way to another year all right so we're roughly talking about 1980 1996 1999 about that those are like the millennials all right we all say that they they were born with technology all right that they know how to handle it they know how to use it all right you kind of think that millennials are very sociable all right uh oscar said they are carefree all right so there, there are many many um i guess for every generation they're like every I don't know, like we have stereotypes, all right? We have some ideas of what they are, all right? So it's interesting to actually talk about it because uh, we deal with all types of generations in our workplaces, all right? Not all of us are millennials or not all of you guys are millennials working at the same company. Not all of us are Generation X, so it's a mix. It's like a tutti fruity, all right? We have different generations in within any workplace, all right? So it's very interesting to like get to know them because of course we all have like, you know, our good things as like that they belong to our generation, all right? So I think it's interesting to, to know them and, and stuff. So uh, let's see the other question we have here. Okay, what do you know about them? We were talking about them. All right, and this one, are you a millennial? All right, so Andrea said, I am, you, that she is. All right, Jessie said she is. All right, Diana, are you a millennial? Yes, I am. All right, Williams, are you a millennial? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I know, all right, very good. Ellie, are you a millennial? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh my goodness, I thought you were. Very good. Jose Luis, are you a millennial? <laughs> Yes, I am. All right. Andrea, I know you are. You already said it. Very good. Andreita, what about Vero? Vero, are you a millennial? Yes, I am. All right. Very good. Oscar, are you a millennial? No, I'm not. All right. Very I'm good. Not. Henrito, are you a millennial? Yes, I am. All right. Moises, what about you? Moises? All right, Nubi, are you a millennial? Uh -huh, Moises, are you a millennial? No? No. Oh, all right, very good. Uh, Nubia, what about you? Are you a millennial? Yes, I am. All right, and she's proud of it. Very good, nice. Gerardo, what about you? Yes, I am. All right, and Irene, are you a millennial? Yes. Yes, I am. Teacher. Yes. All right. Thank you, Irene. All right. Very good. So most of you guys are millennials. So in this case, only Ellie, Oscar, Moises, and myself were not millennials. All right. The rest of you guys are. All right. Uh, Norma is not a millennial, and uh, Jen is not a millennial either. All right. So it, I'm. I'm unfortunately, they are not with us right now. But maybe they will get in later on. All right. So I'm going to take you to the book right now, to the uh, manual, actually. All right. And these are like the questions that we have here. Just give me a second here. All right. Have you heard the term millennials before this, guys? Have you, like, did you listen to the term millennial before? All of you, have you heard about it? Sure. Yeah? Yes, I have. All right. Yes. Very good. Yes. All right. Now we know what it means. All right. And I already asked this question. Daniel, and most of you guys are, all right. Uh, why is it important to know how to manage or lead this group of employees? We're going to talk about that later. Are there members of other generations like baby boomers, Gen X at your workplace? And again, we're going to be talking about this later on. All right. So I just want you to, to read these um, definitions. All right. We have millennials. We have self-entitled. We have self-centered. We have willfully ignorant, all right? Now, these four, well, let's say these three definitions, self-entitled, self-centered, and willfully ignorant, those are some characteristics people think about millennials, all right? Uh, we, I mean, millennials, it's, it's the, the generation that we're talking about now. They're, these three characteristics, self-entitled, self-centered, and willfully ignorant are very common to hear 
as how millennials are, all right? Now, this is what we're going to do quickly, all right? I'm gonna send you to your group really quickly and I want you to come up, don't Google it. What is um, self-entitled? What if, excuse me, what is self-centered? And what is willfully ignorant for you, all right? Don't, don't say that if you are or not, just come up with a definition, all right? If you don't know what it means, that's okay. But don't Google it, Pinky promise you won't Google, all right? So I'm gonna send you quickly to your groups. All right, and decide, right, or come up with a definition, all right, your own definition. So here we go. All right, guys, go to your groups right now and define self entitled, self centered, and willfully ignorant. All right, oh, hold on, guys. Wait, 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 wait. All right, so, uh, well, you already left. That's okay. That's okay. You can go to your groups right now. Go to your groups, and then we're coming back to keep on discussing about those three terms. Remember, self entitled self-centered and we're talking about fully ignorant. Hi, Irene. Good evening, teacher. Irene, do you, do you want to stay here? Sorry? Do you want to stay in this group here? Or do you want to go and work with your classmates? ¿Se quiere quedar en este grupo ahorita aquí, eh, Irene, usted acá? ¿O quiere que la mande a un grupo? ¿Prefiere quedarse ahorita aquí? La voy a dejar aquí un ratito, Irene, oye. A measure of success, a particular standard of living. Okay. And the other, do you do you have one is wild wifey, right? I will share the the, the screenshot that too. Okay. It is willfully ignorant, Andrea. Willful. Willfully okay. ignorant. Okay. I don't, I don't. <laughs> do you want me to share the screen? Andre, do you want me to share the screen with you? Yes. Okay, here you go. Please. There you go, Andre, those are the, uh, well, millennials, we know what they are. We discussed that. So we have a self-entitled, self-centered, and willfully ignorant. Oh, okay. Self-centered is like they only care about themselves and right. not about anything and on the anything else. And willfully ignorant. I think that they don't know many things, but they act like they they know it. But it's an idea. Mm -hmm. All right, Moses, what do you think? 
Uh, I don't have an idea, but I'm trying to, to do uh, a research. <laughs> Uh, is Moises having problem with his internet? Andrea, do you know? Did he mention anything? No? All right, okay. Hmm. Uh, no, but, but maybe. Yeah, because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was kind of like there, but not there. <laughs> uh -huh. I am here. Ah, oh, Moises, I thought you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Moises, you know what, Moises? One of these days, you will have, you will, you are going to have to like have your camera on so we know how you look like. <laughs> sorry, sorry about it. To explain to me the other day, right? But we cannot finish the course without knowing who you are. <laughs> I will, it's a problem that I will turn off the camera in the last class. The last day. <laughs> Excellent. A surprise. A surprise. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's me. <laughs> That's why I, I actually thought that you were a, a millennial also, because I know that you are like a Henry's and Jose Luis co worker. So I thought yes. you were a millennial yes, too. <laughs> yes, yes, I am teacher. I I I was uh, watching another kind of page, and this page gave me uh, a wrong information. Oh, so you are Moises. I am thirty-six years. All right, before. yeah. So you are. You're still on the on the on the borderline, Moises. <laughs> All right. One second, guys. Dianita is calling me from the other breakout room. Okay, I'll be back. All right. So keep on talking a little bit more about these definitions, and then we're gonna go back to the main group. Dianita, what happened to you, Diana? I don't know. There's nobody here. Really? Since the beginning? <laughs> Since the beginning, yeah. <laughs> no way, Diana. Ah, no, Irene was supposed to be with you, but she's not feeling okay. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, she was actually like, you know. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? I'm going to send you quickly to uh, room number four. Go and, yeah. You are, uh, how to say, uh, aligned with their values. They will agree with you and they will give you the reason to you. <laughs> But sometimes they have uh, some values that are not, uh, how to say, reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> some values of them People are not have. really proof. They are, are not science proof. So oh my goodness. <laughs> you're you're talking heavy, do. Oscarito. <laughs> Oscar yeah. and Henry, uh, Diana just joined yeah. you because she was by herself on the on another group, all right? So um, okay, no problem. So share with her what you have, like what's your definition for self-entitled, self-centered, and uh, will, willfully ignorant. Okay. Thank okay. You. Diana. Good evening. <laughs> okay, good evening. Yeah, we were talking about the the willfully ignorant. What what do you think is a willfully ignorant person? I think because I was I was alone in the other break room. Mm -hmm. I was looking for the definition. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Did you find it? I'm sorry. Yes. Did you get it? Okay, go ahead. What do you think? The okay. teacher is like, no. So I think I, I, I read that what I fully ignorant is someone that has the facts for some, for some kind of topic and they are like ignoring, uh, knowing that it's not okay to, be, to ignore that fa those facts. Those oh, facts. Okay, because it's against their values. It's oh. against your your values, your your ideas. Mm -hmm. And despite that, you don't have the reason. Mm -hmm. 
and despite that the, your idea is not proven, you are, um, how to say, you are against it. So you are like a reactionary person. Mm, but I think that that is, that is a point. <laughs> uh -huh. That is a point of view, I think, uh -huh. because I don't know, the definition is not why the people is, is acting like that, like ignoring the, the facts, because I think that the, the reality has too many ways of seeing, seeing, uh -huh. seeing. Maybe these people always, how you say, the, the people eat the world. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they have, I think, uh, no, no knowledge. Uh, because this is, how you say, enreído, I don't know, arrogant. Ah, like arrogant. Mm -hmm. uh, arrogant. Maybe. But, but they I are think, not. Maybe, okay. but I think that the, in the whole history has been people that has this, uh, they have these feelings about this what behavior. they believe. Yes, and now it is only more, more, uh, more seen for the world because we have like the social media, the social. I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are like fighting about this topic or about the other one, and I think that thirty years ago the people they don't have this like tools to be sharing the, the, the opinion, their opinion. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you, but uh, they are reactionary. Yes. I agree with you in the fact that the whole time, in many ages, mm -hmm. there have been always, there, there have been always people mm -hmm. that is reactionary. Mm -hmm. They don't uh, care about the facts or the, or the, the truth, I mean, they, Maybe the people now concern that? Uh, they are against everything that is against their values. I mean, yes. even even though they, they don't have the, the facts or the... Okay, it's not the proven, reason. even though the, that the, their ideas are not proven, but they are yes. reactionary. Think about these holy words, you know. They have been a lot of holy words through the history. And mm. it's kind of unreasonable. Uh -huh, they were, the people they were really died. bad. I mean, yes. really bad. Huh? <laughs> people has has died over this kind of thoughts. And I'm open mind about it. I'm open mind about it. Uh -huh. Yes, I can see that uh -huh. you're open minded. Yes. 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 Uh, and I think that uh, the, the, uh, the, nowadays. The, <laughs> this has the teach the family, the people, this new, new generation. This influence for the charity the this person was born in the millennium. Yes. They are uh, more open mind. Ah oh, yes. This generation is more open minded. Yes, I agree with I, co you. I compare to millennials to, to the radicals. Have you ever heard radicals? I don't know if the teacher is, is listening. I don't think of, uh, radicals or radicales. Uh-huh. Yeah. They are like uh, anarchists. Okay, um, anarchists. Oh, all right. They, before millennials, they were anarchists. They okay. Were <laughs> <laughs> they were all right. Thing. So, I don't think they are It's a good comparison. Yeah, they are. I think they are, I think. All right, okay. Now, what did you guys come they up with? No. Oh. The thing is important. All right. What did you guys come up with? Uh, self-entitled, eh, Oscar and Anne Henry and Diana. What is self-entitled for you? I think that self-entitled. It's. I think the, this um, this word I didn't look at in uh, at the internet. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> so, so I think that it's like they are like. Uh, I don't know, but but they are like having their own opinion about mm. their self. Oh, okay, all right. And they okay. are like really strong about it, about they, they, ah. how they feel and how they... They feel like they have loyal titles. 
Oh. They had a, they had, <laughs> oh, that's they heavy, Oscar. Reason, <laughs> they had a reason. They had All right. The titles, <laughs> but All yeah, right. It's, it's okay. it's okay. Yeah. Ah, yes, they are like giving them, themselves a lot of titles. That's yeah. Right. Like yeah. a lot ah, of okay. credits, right? Ah, yes. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Right. Maybe. Okay. Play wise has a. Okay, they are wise. Strong, I think. All right. Now, uh, we have in this group right now, we have Henry and Dianita, that they are uh, millennials, right? Now, Diana, do you consider yourself uh, self entitled? Okay. Mm. Mm, mm, maybe <laughs> <She's> like, <"Yeah."> <laughs> <laughs> maybe we have like i have an idea that i have like i give i give me a lot of credits <laughs> oh, <myself>. right. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice all right what about henry do you think you're self-entitled henry So that yes, teacher. But oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's really, really, really funny this moment. All right. Okay. All right. But it's not always in the whatever moment. All right. I get it. Okay. Very good. But you know what? It's interesting because I think it doesn't matter which type of generation we belong to. There are some mm -hmm. traits or some characteristics that we need to accept. You know that we do or that we are or that we behave like that. So I think it's just you know the right thing to do because if you're on denial i think that's even worse you know so i think it's okay to say well you know what i think i am or some sometimes i am all right again these um definitions or these characteristics not just because you're a millennial they are they are apply only to this generation all right but most of them are like that that's what people think all right in general i mean not me mm -hmm. it's just like studies and research and everything all right <laughs> So, but it is interesting. So I don't know that, I don't know. I think it's quite, quite nice to have this um, mixed of generations in a class and, and it happens at a workplace. And I guess at a workplace happens, we can see many different generations working together. I mean, in the case, imagine Diana, she, worked, she works with her father. All right, so of mm -hmm. course they are totally different generations. All right, so I think in a way, I mean, it could be like it's nice because if both of them get experiences from both generations, mm -hmm. and sometimes it might be if you're not able to handle it okay, all right, then it may cause a little like of like trouble, you know, difficulties understanding like where where we want to get to, you know, because they're like obvi obviously different generations. All right, very good. Okay. Interesting. All right, we're going to go back right now to see what everybody else thought about uh, these definitions, all right? Okay. Let's see. Let's see, <laughs> I knew. Let's see if they <laughs> accept it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hi, Eric. Nice to have you in class. Doesn't matter outside your house, Hi. we're heading out. We can expand this, be more Hi, specific. Eddie. All right, guys, we're gonna, uh, whoa, what's we're that? Out There's something really friend. strange flying in here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who's anyway, talking? I don't know who's talking. Who's talking? It wasn't me. All right, guys, so I'm gonna share this with you and let's talk about it, all right? What is self-entitled? What can tell me the definition, your own definition, not Google definition, I have that for you. What is self-entitled? What do you understand by, by self-entitled? Anybody? I think that are the people that think that they deserve all. <laughs> okay, Eva. interesting. Look at Oscarito's laughing. All right, very good. Only, <laughs> Oscar. only, a, only a king or a queen can <laughs> of you. All right. Self -entitled. All right, very good. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Any other definition or any other idea of what self entitled is? When you hear self entitled, what comes to your mind? In my case, teacher, I haven't heard before about this. Ah, all right, excellent, Verito. Perfect. Thank you. Self entitled. Very good. Any other? idea or definition or just like Verito said I have no idea what that means 
All right, Williams, for you, what is self-entitled? I don't have idea. Oh, cool, all right, okay, that's fine, that's okay. All right, for the rest of you? You know, for me, it's like a, you give yourself a title, like a lord, like a, <laughs> like a duke. Like mighty. <laughs> I'm a duke, I'm a duchess, that's some, some girl say. All right, okay, very good. Anybody else? Okay, teacher, I yes. don't sure. Uh -huh. I don't sure, but I, I am think... not sure. Yes, uh huh. Oops. Yes, <laughs> I am not sure, but I think self is for myself. Right, yes, of course. <laughs> and title, I don't know, is about English. Uh -huh. but, uh, but that word for me, I think that is the people forget it, the knowledge that they have. And ah. it's so difficult to acquire a new knowledge. Acquire a new knowledge. Acquire a new knowledge. knowledge. All right. Okay. Yeah, I get it. That's all. Okay. Very good. Henrito, tell us. Uh, maybe I think is the these people is arrogant people. Maybe they have been uh, many privileges. Privileges. Mm -hmm. Privileges? You, Privileges. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Privileges when you person, I think. Mm, all right. Okay. Very nice. All right. Anybody else? Danita, self-entitled? Yes, it's like giving a, a, a lot of credits by yourself. To yourself? Or to yourself. All right. Ah, okay. All right. Self-entitled. Very good. One more. Anybody else? What do you think about self-entitled? For me, is. Uh, somebody learn for himself ah all right okay i see where you're going okay very good nice okay very good you know what i'm gonna take attendance right now and then i'll tell you what it is all right <laughs> all right let's see um nancy elizabeth Larin chavez good afternoon teacher thank you ellie hold on <laughs> sorry guys all right let's see uh eric alirio perez diaz Present. thank you <laughs> Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. All right. Henry Vladimir del Citepas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present. Eh, Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Thank you, Moy. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present, teacher. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present. Andrea María Trabanino Alfaro. Present. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Present. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Present. Thank you. Eh, Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Hmm. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. All right. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. She's not in yet. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero Romero. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Verónica Lisset Soto Serna. Present. I'm Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. Present. Excellent. Very good. All right, guys. So this is what I, I found for you, what self-entitled is for the, the ones that didn't really know what they meant, what it meant. All right. So we have this one here. Self-entitled, it says that it's when an individual perceives themselves as of an earned privileges all right these are the people who believe life owes them something a reward a measure of success a particular standard of living all right so self-entitled is not such a positive definition or such a positive um adjective all right if you say i'm self-entitled all right it's not something so positive but we were saying with Oscar and Diana and Henry that it's good if you accept that you are self-entitled. Now, 
do you understand the definition? Self-entitled is when an individual, so when someone perceives themselves as deserving of unearned privileges. That means that you don't deserve, you haven't earned the privileges, but you feel that you deserve them, all right? These are people who believe life owes them something, all right? So you say, I me debe la vida tal cosa, all right? I'm entitled, all right? A reward, a measure of success, a particular standard of living. Do you, do you guys, the ones that said that you guys are millennials, which are most of you, do you consider yourself being self-entitled? Dianita said that sometimes she does, as well as Henry, all right? Now, Verito, that is a millennial, Andrea, Jesse, all right, Jose Luis, Nubia, all of you guys that said that you are millennials, do you consider yourself self-entitled? It has nothing to do with education, guys. If you notice, I'm not talking about like uh, education here. I'm talking about how you feel the rest of the world should feel about you, that you deserve all the credits, all right, that you are entitled of like privileges that you have a not that you have not earned. All right, do you feel self-entitled, guys? Honestly speaking. Uh-huh, millennials, you may speak for your peace <laughs> all right <laughs> andre uh -huh, andrea are you self-entitled yes or no <laughs> maybe a, li a little maybe a little all right maybe cool little. <laughs> all right very being nice. honest yeah but of course a, not crazy but but maybe a little all right okay <laughs> fair enough thank you all right verito are you self-entitled Look at Vero, she's like, oh no. <laughs> it's difficult, but I agree with Andre. Okay, all right. Very I good. think a little bit. A little bit, all right, very good. Jesse, are you self entitled? Honestly, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difficult tell. Yeah. Because don't all time we have to live by by our ways. Right. In some cases you need to motivation about another people's. Okay. But I try to I try to eat that but but I know that in all ways. All right, okay, all right, very good. Uh, Eric, are you a millennial? Not. No? Not. Ah, okay. All right. So you're out of the hook right now. <laughs> I'm not asking this uh, question about people that are not millennials, all right? Williams, are you self-entitled? I can't hear you. Excuse me? I can't hear you. You cannot hear me. Yes, you can. I know you can. You just don't want to answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about um, maybe a little, little. <laughs> maybe a little, little. All right. Okay. Very good. All right. Dianita, you already said that you are sometimes, right, Diana? Yes, I am. All right. I okay. <laughs> All right. Hi, Norma. Nice to have you in class. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. I hope everything's okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Uh, let's see. Jose Luis. Jose, no, it was, it was Henry. What about you, Henry? Or who was in the group with Diana and Oscar? Yes, Henry or Jose Luis? Uh-huh. Go ahead. Oscar, me. Uh -huh. Okay. Sometimes, yes, I feel insanitized, but I know always. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Moises, Gerardo, and Nubia, do you feel self-entitled? A little bit, teacher. <laughs> okay, Moises, very good. All right, okay. And Gerardo, in your case? Yes, for me, is is. It's true? A little. <laughs> A little? <laughs> okay, all A right. Bit. All right, okay, so... Yeah, as I was, like we were saying with Diana and Oscar and Henry, eh, I guess it's fair enough to accept that we are this way, for example, all right? Maybe like William said, or like Vero and Andrea, sometimes we are a little bit, all right? 
So, I mean, it's okay. You need to be honest, all right? Not only honest to, I mean, I'm not saying honest to the class, but honest to yourself, all right? So it's a, it's a trait, it's a characteristic that millennials have. I'm not saying that, as I said to the uh, previous group, uh, there's been a lot of research on millennials and, and like all the other generations, all right? So uh, they have like, because I guess they have made like research and surveys and stuff with millennials, they have came up with this definition, millennials can be self-entitled, all right? They believe they deserve everything like Oscar was saying like a king and a queen you know they deserve everything uh, the privileges maybe that they have not earned all right not all of you not maybe like in a big like amount of you know like self-entitledness all right so that's okay as long as you are able to manage it all right I guess it's not a big deal all right but I guess there are some people that they are self-entitled a hundred percent and that's not nice, all right? So there's always been like, you have to have a balance between everything, all right? Then we have self-centered, all right, guys? What did you come up with self-centered? What is that? What's that for you? I think is when you think the world turning around you. Yes, all right. <laughs> Very good, Williams. You are the sun, all right? And everything like goes around you, all right? Very good, nice definition. Anybody else with uh, that definition? Self-centered. Anybody else? This is a per egocentric person. That's right. Yes. Very good, Jeff. Ellie. Very nice. All right. Anybody else? Oscarito? Self-centered. Well, you are like a egotistical right. person. Right. Autistical is it's a synonym. Right, of course, yes. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Okay. Now, millennials. I, I'm sorry that I mean I don't want you to feel uncomfortable about this, but <laughs> it's about you today, all right? So now do you guys, the ones that are um millennials, do you feel self-centered? Do you think that's one of your characteristics? Do you agree with that or not? Or a little bit. Sure. Yes. Sure. Uh, question. Uh, what is the difference between uh, egotistical, self-centered, and... Egocentric. Egocentric, uh -huh. It's pretty much the same. They're just synonyms. Okay. Got All right. It. Yeah. Very good. Uh-huh. So, guys, do you feel self-centered? That everything Teacher. is around you? Yes? Teacher, for me... Sometimes, maybe self-centered is the, I call the attention, the ah. other person. Okay. Maybe I like, I hear, I, right. I want attention to this person. All right. In this moment, I self-centered. Okay. All right. Okay. And I guess everybody could be self-centered, all right? But remember that these characteristics, they have came up with that millennials are like that self-centered not only like in the case that henry was mentioning but always all right so that's why i go back and i ask you for the ones that are feel self-centered or not really teacher i think that self-centered also it is when when we are talking about relationships uh -huh. but, mm, i think that this generation is giving a lot of importance uh, to the relation that the, the relationship that they have with themselves okay more uh, that is more important than the relationship that they have with their partner ah, for example okay i i get it okay maybe the because maybe we are more uh, we are more focused in, in in the relationship that we have with also I don't know. Right. And yeah. and, uh, and the previous generations, they had they are they have been centered in the relationship in, in having long marriages, for example. All right, and I get have To have a strong uh, relationships with right. their partners, I don't know. Okay, interesting. Yes. All right. Okay, interesting point of view. Very nice. Okay, I like that. Very good. All right, anybody else? Do you guys feel that you are self-centered, the one that are millennials?
Teacher, I am agree with the, the affirm, affirm, affirmation. Okay. Because uh, the millennial is a general uh, educate different than the previous generation. Okay. Because the parents, uh -huh. the both parents working all day okay. to provide for the son or for that generation right. all things. And okay. they don't have any effort to reach ah. something. Okay. And that situation provoke the self-centered feeling mm -hmm. in the teenagers. Okay. All right. They they think all all the thing uh, they need can be uh, provide for mm -hmm. others. Okay. No, they don't make any effort okay for, all right. for anything all right okay the, the, the responsibility for the parents oh all right because they they raised millennials yeah. <laughs> all right okay interesting all right and the last one is um what was the other one uh it was the willfully ignorant all right guys do you have any idea what it is Well, I, I like the definition. Mm -hmm. I read it before, and it's like a, it's something is against your values. Okay. Even though you don't have the the facts or the truth uh, to support you, mm -hmm. you will be against, like a reactionary person. All right. Okay. Very so good. They they had uh, if yeah if I have my values. And it's proven that my values are not, uh, how to say, are not true. Uh, I will be defending my values uh, despite that the, it's, not, it's not true. Right. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you here, guys, so we are able to, like, understand what they are. This is self-entitled and this is self, oops, oops, what did I do? This is self-centered, all right? Uh, is preoccupied with oneself and one's affair, all right? Like what Williams was saying, in general, this is what self-centered means, all right? You worry about how you like feel and that you're worried about you and your own business, all right? It's like business as in like the way you are and the way you behave and everything, all right? So this is what self-centered means. And then Willfully ignorance or, or willfully ignorant is a decision in bad faith to avoid becoming informed about something so as to avoid having to make undesirable decisions that such information might prompt. So when you're willfully ignorant is that you pretend to be ignorant or that you, because it says willfully to like the will is, the will is that you feel like that, all right? That, that's, that's your voluntad. So in this willfully ignorance, all right, is when you decide that you want to be ignorant about a topic because you don't want to have to make any decisions. So people think, I'm not saying that this is what Jessica thinks. I'm telling you these are some or some characteristics that people have came up with to define millennials, all right? So people believe, not everybody, and of course, don't get offended. It's just how people view millennials in a broad way, all right? So they feel that um, millennials are self-entitled, that they are self-centered, and they are willfully ignorant. So they pretend not to know something so they, cannot, so they don't have to make decisions, all right? So they, that's what people think about millennials, or that's like the research they have done. I'm not saying that if you are a millennial, you have to be, you have to agree with this or you have to feel like that, all right? They are talking about general traits about what they have, all right? Now, do you have any comments about this so far? I wanna show you the video about millennials, all right? And they are using these terms about self-centered, self-entitled, and will, uh, willfully ignorant. Comments before we go and watch the video? Guys? No? We're okay? All right. Very I good. teach. Ah, okay. Yes, Ellie. Me, I 
I think that the that generation began in 90, 91. I nineteen eighty one about that yeah uh huh uh but don't don't is true it's not true the ah, the generation I... uh, the generation began in nineteen eighty not eighty one okay yeah mm -hmm. all right yeah people say I don't that... I I I am I am confused yeah. No, the, the millennial generation people say that it began on the 1980s, 1981. All right, about that. And that it goes all the way to 1996, 99. All right. So by now, or by now here, people like millennials are about 35, 36 years old and down. All right, like 25, like 30. So if you're on the age range, you're a millennial. All right. Now, it's something that it's, it's very interesting because if I ask, for example, um, Andrea, I'll ask Andrea. Andrea, how old are you? I'm sorry to ask. 28. 28. Who's younger than Andrea in this class? Who's younger? No, Andreita is the youngest one. Jose Luis, how old are you? I am 33. Oh my goodness, Henrito, how old are you? I have I am? two. Oh I have my goodness. Andrea, you're the youngest one. Jesse, how old are you? Do you mind me asking? I have two. You are, all right, okay, very good. Oh my goodness, and I know Williams is 35. Gerardo, how old are you? I have 29. Yes. You are, you are 29. All right, very good, you're 20. Okay, so almost Andreita's age, all right? So Andrea, you are the baby of the class. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, if I ask you, Andrea, do you, how can I ask you this? Do you remember having a computer all your life? Mm. or knowing mm. maybe not at home but knowing about computers all your life i remember the computers when i i went when i was on uh, on a school all right i remember but it's like a program with a turtle <laughs> okay <laughs> to teach about the 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 how do you say the cloud the, the keyboard the keyboard uh-huh uh -huh. do but, you remember about I, how old you were I was like in, in let me think, like in uh, seven years old. Maybe. Oh my goodness, all right. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you were seven years old, all right, very good. All right, now, Oscar, you're not a, you're not a millennial, right, Oscarito? <laughs> Oscar, where are you? Come on, Oscar, I wanted to ask you for something. All right, but anyway, I don't know where Oscar went. All right, uh, let's see, Norma. Do you remember when you used a computer the first time? Yes, teacher. When I start study at a, a high school. Okay. In All high right. school, I, I using the computer for. And not that that now what that what the computer as a now. No, of course not. <laughs> but All right. a different a different de a hardware. Right. And it was huge. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes. Very small, right? I remember. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, what about Ellie? Do you remember the first time you you used a computer, Ellie? Yes, teacher. I I say the confusing because I I am millennial. You are verdad. Que I say you, you. I say I know. Yeah, I knew you. <laughs> because I confuse it with the years. <laughs> ah, right, all right, all right. So you are a millennial. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. I remember. <laughs> I, I, I have a computer that the twelve, yeah, but right. no, no, this my right. Is that is that in in the com community center? Eight, yeah. 
All right. Okay, I get it. So you see, that's the difference between you millennials and us that are not millennials, all right? Because I'm not a millennial. I'm a previous generation from yours, all right? I do remember when I used my first computer and I was like about 12, all right, or 13, but I've never seen a computer before. And by the way, I did not see the first computer in El Salvador. I saw it in Canada, all right? Because here I never saw a computer before. So when, imagine this, I had to go to Canada, I did not speak English, and it was my first time using a computer. Everything was in English, and I did not speak the language. It was so frustrating, because I didn't know how to turn it on, I didn't know how to turn it off, I didn't know how to save a file. <laughs> so I, I remember my teacher, my English teacher, telling me in English what to do, but I had no idea what she was saying because she spoke English and I never used the computer before. So it was totally frustrating for me, all right? Because I'm like thinking, oh my goodness, what is this, you know? And just like Normita said, the screen was like this. It was black and white. And the types of, I mean, the, the screen, the letters, they were orange. <laughs> all right, so it was like, oh my goodness. So now you guys, millennials, I mean, Andreita is the youngest one and she's saying, I was like about seven. So she grew up with computers, all right? It's nothing new for her, all right? So it's really interesting to see that, you know, and, and we, as my generation, we have learned to use them, but we were not born with them, all right? That's a big difference, all right? And that makes a huge difference, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna share these. Uh, what about you, Oscar? Do you remember the first time you used a computer? Well, I saw the, the Atari's, and uh -huh. the <laughs> and the apples, the apples. Okay. Yeah. The, those were in the eighty, nineteen eighty six, maybe. Okay. Nineteen eighty six, but um, well, the, the this was a um, developed world. Uh huh. Uh, you and I, I believe, we are in the wise generation. The next one. The previous one? Uh, I mean, the previous one of the X. millennials, the X. The X. We are X. Well, I am okay, X. <laughs> okay, I'm X. I'm an, um, I belong to the X generation, but in El Salvador, uh, as an underdeveloped uh, country, uh, we receive information and okay. many of, of this uh, development uh, or, or stuff, mm -hmm. it was kind of delayed. Okay. Uh, I mean, Star Wars, I saw Star Wars, <laughs> maybe at TV in the 80s. Okay. And the Star Wars was the, 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 the <coughs> how, how, how do you say the, the <laughs> oh, I know, but it was like something <laughs> new. <laughs> 70, like, uh -huh, but it was in the 1977. Right, yeah. It was a movie from the 1977. Right, yeah, it was like 10 years it. later. <laughs> And we saw it five years or, or seven years after that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> everything, everything was delayed in yeah. an underdeveloped world. That's right. So, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I saw the Commodores. Commodore okay. was, a, was a kind of <laughs> trademark that, that copied the Apple computer. I saw Apple. Right. Okay. Commodores. It was Macintosh. Uh huh. In Ataris. <laughs> All that right. was, but that was maybe that that were maybe a five or seven years okay. after. Okay. All right. Actually, the brand uh, launch. I mean, uh, after the launch of these products. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oscar. I, uh -huh. Sorry. Did you learn to use the typewriter? I used it. <laughs> the typewriter. Yes. Did you learn to use? What was qué era eso? ¿Qué, what la, was la, it? la 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 máquina de escribir. Ah, yeah, yeah. I learned how to oh, type. Oh, it was in very a, in a fast. Uh, in a in a typewriter. Uh -huh, I did. That that's why I, I hit hard the computers, the, the keyboards. I hit hard the keyboards because. <laughs> yeah, I know, eh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, look in at, the oh, schools. Oh, uh huh. Yes, in the there. schools teach the typewriter typewriter. Right. Yes, they did. How to use it? It was a subject. Mecanografía, of uh -huh. course. <laughs> you know, uh, Oscarito and Norma, and like all the other classmates, that everybody else is millennials in this class, they are looking at us like pobrecitos de lo que se acuerda. 
No, I, I'm glad that, that, that it now everything is easier. That's right, yes. And it's, and it's hard that to understand as an as a ex-generation. An ex-generation now. That mm -hmm. for the millennials, everything is easier. It's easier. So go and take advantage. That's right. Go and take advantage because it's, it's now everything, you, do you don't know what was it to, to type? <laughs> uh a uh, homework right in a typewriter yeah you don't know what was it to to print a university <laughs> uh a homework or task in a matrix uh matrix no in a printer no kidding in a print oh ah. printer in, in, a la que hacía <laughs> in a matrix <laughs> Now everything is easier. It's easier. It, it's and easier. it's hard for me and for, for any extra generation yeah. to see that, that now everything is easier. Now, okay. uh, the only thing I can say is go and take advantage because now you know that everything is easier. Go and, and, go and do what you want. And do <laughs> what you want to be and what you want to know. Right. Go and get it. Go and get it. Ha have you ever have you ever a, a video on facebook that one one father is teaching a her son a, her son his, his son uh -huh. his sons uh they have to use a cassette you remember the cassette <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah of course and the child say, hey have to use and they hey he didn't <laughs> stop, <so. laughs> no kidding no it's the, a funny the, video and the big recorder like, like this in, in your in your arm <laughs> right yeah no so there yes. are many many different things between imagine because i mean i mean i know that i'm older than most of you guys here but it's not like i'm 40 years older than you but imagine like the differences that we have that you guys are Be able sure. to use now yes jesse it's a different to the play that we born yeah also because because i born in the poor family okay and i use all that things in my school mm -hmm. i start to study the first year years in contaduría pública okay all right. and we use the mechanography okay the yeah machine that machine right. mm -hmm. i don't use the computer mm -hmm. my privilege my privilege is when I start to study for the religious. I, All right. This year, I obtain my my own computer, okay. and I I talk with the best light can be. But before, I mm -hmm. using all the things that the the last generation, generation used. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Yeah, yes, and. And it's a, it's so very nice to use that thing because I like to write best in the machine. I don't know. In the, in the typewriter. Machine that, in the typewriter. That, <laughs> yes, in the typewriting that the computer. All right. Because the typewriting is you can erase it and the instantly <laughs> you outside the the all the pages and in the computer you have to. Pride, you have to go to pride that you don't have to, uh, link. Right. And in the time, pride, you things in the same moment. All right, interesting. All right, it, very it's good. so good to accept that thing. Right, yeah. But you know what? Jessie has a very good point because although she's a millennial, it depends where you grew up. All right, because it's not the same thing growing, in a, growing up in a city than growing up out of the city, all right? And, and it depends where on out of the city because there are like also different places within the country, although we are, like you guys are millennials, but maybe not living or growing up in the city may have, make, make a difference. Just like Jesse was saying, I was using a, what the X generation used, all right? So that's interesting. All right, so guys, I'm gonna show you the video I have for you here. Let me just go get it. Uh, just give me a second here. That's this one. Just give me a second. It's here.
All right, here you go. Today's youth are selfish, lazy, and ignorant. Okay. Private millennials need to stop whinging and work hard like the rest of us. That's bad. The most obnoxious, self entitled, lazy, and willfully ignorant generation ever to pollute the surface of the earth. The me, me, me generation. That's not true. And that's upset me. There are a lot of stereotypes. We're lazy. Entitled. Unambitious. Disloyal. Disconnected. I'm the founder of Stand Tall, which is an organization that helps women and girls get back on their feet after they've been in an abusive relationship. Starting one of the largest college safety apps in the U.S. that has over a million users. I've raised nearly one million dollars for children with serious illnesses. I want to dedicate my space trip to every single person who suffered from mental health issues. I started my own business at the same time as completing my GCSEs and now A-levels. Words that come to mind when I think of millennials. Opportunity, hope, ambitious, driven, passionate, always looking for the next solution, universal, what to make the world a better place, tenacious and versatile. And just try to see at the very beginning of the video they are saying they got i mean they received these definitions or these adjectives about what millennials are like all right try to kind of like listen to what they say and then as the video goes on they give their own definition of what they think millennials do all right so try to take notes as you listen to it let's see what are the definitions or the adjectives that people use to describe millennials and what are the definitions or adjectives they use to describe themselves which are very different all right so i'm going to play it here again i'm just going to move us a little bit again here all right Today's youth are selfish, lazy, and ignorant. Okay. Private millennials need to stop whinging and work hard like the rest of us. That's bad. The most obnoxious, self entitled, lazy, and willfully ignorant generation ever to pollute the surface of the earth. The me, me, me generation. That's not true. And that's upset me. There are a lot of stereotypes. We're lazy. Entitled. Unambitious. Disloyal. Disconnected. I'm the founder of Stand Tall, which is an organization that helps women and girls get back on their feet after they've been in an abusive relationship. Starting one of the largest college safety apps in the U.S. that has over a million users. I've raised nearly one million dollars for children with serious illnesses. I want to dedicate my space trip to every single person who suffered from mental health issues. I started my own business at the same time as completing my GCSEs and now A-levels. Words that come to mind when I think of millennials. Opportunity, hope, ambitious, driven, passionate, always looking for the next solution, universal, what to make the world a better place, tenacious and versatile. Do you want to listen again or you got all the adjectives, guys, from the ones that they got, ones that they think they are? Do you want me to play it again or you're okay now? Again. All right. Today's youth are selfish, lazy, and ignorant. Okay. Private millennials need to stop whinging and work hard like the rest of us. That's bad. 
the most obnoxious, self-entitled, lazy and willfully ignorant generation ever to pollute the surface of the earth. The me, me, me generation. That's not true. And that's upset me. There are a lot of stereotypes. We're lazy. Entitled. Unambitious. Disloyal. Disconnected. I'm the founder of Stand Tall, which is an organization that helps women and girls get back on their feet after they've been in an abusive relationship. Starting one of the largest college safety apps in the U.S. that has over a million users. I've we'll raised nearly one million dollars for children with serious illnesses. I want to dedicate my space trip to every single person who suffered from mental health issues. I started my own business at the same time as completing my GCSEs and now A-levels. Words that come to mind when I think of millennials. Opportunity, hope, ambitious, driven, passionate, always looking for the next solution, universal, want to make the world a better place, tenacious and versatile. All right, guys. So tell us about the um the first adjectives these people got. So what are people saying about millennials? Do you remember some of the uh, definitions they got? The people say that they are lazy. Lazy, uh -huh. Ignorant. Oh my goodness. What else? Disloyal. Disloyal, all right. Connecting. Selfish. Selfish, yes. Cry babies. Cry babies. <laughs> what else? Me, me, me. Me, me, me type, right? Okay, so self-centered. Yeah. Ignorant. Right, yes. What else? Unambitious. Unambitious. Unambitious, right. What else? Anything else? Disconnected. Disconnected, yeah, for sure. Anything else that you remember? All right, what about their own uh, definition? Yes, yes, see. And not, uh, not so solutions for the problems too. Okay, all right, very good. It's mentioned. Okay, yes, of course. Now, what about their own definition? For us, how do you, I mean, we, can, we could assume that they were asked, how do you define millennials? And they came up with their own definitions or their own adjectives. What did they say? How are they like? For me, it was hard to listen to the, the, their own definitions. Yeah? I didn't get them. All right. Did anybody get it? Or do you want to listen to that part of the video so you guys like can naturally listen to that? Williams? They say the opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Opportunity. What else? Hope. Say Hope. Universal. 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 All right. Very good. What else? Passion. Passionate. passionate yes passionate yes ambitious ambitious yes driven they said driven all right someone that you know they always want to do things all right uh they were they mentioned that they always have to change the world all right what else do you remember anything else what about the last guy the guy that has the the cafe he said two two adjectives tenacious tenacious and and the other word I can, I can versatile. Ah, versatile. Versatile. All right. And yes, or tenacious and versatile. All right. That's what they. That's how they define themselves. All right. According to the video, the millennials are entrepreneurs. Yes, they are entrepreneurs. Yes, according to the video. Very good. So in a way, that's why they say they are driven. All right, because they have let's say the courage to do things the x generation wouldn't all right sometimes and this is what research says is not what jessica says uh, they say that the millennials are able to carry out the dreams of the x generation all right because they they are you know they are ready to do things they're ready to go they are not they are fearless that's why when the beginning of the class oscar said something key he said carefree all right, that's how uh, Oscar like define millennials. All right, and a lot of people decide or define millennials as they are carefree because they're not really worried about if they're gonna fail or not. They just do it because they are driven. 
all right, to do things, all right, which is different from the other generations. We were more cautious, all right? We're always thinking, should I do it? What would be the consequence, all right? In this case, millennials, according to like the general definitions, they are like, you know, driven to do things, to try new things, to change the world, all right? Because they have like, and they are tech savvy. You understand what tech savvy means? Do you know what tech savvy means, guys? No, no, no. no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tech savvy is when people that that is a term who are very techy. When you like what we said, like remember that we said that uh, millennials they were born with technology. All right. So a, a general term for these type of people is. Um, uh, technology like they are tech savvy that they know about technology a lot all right i'm gonna show you the article i have here for you let me just see where i have it i think it's here yeah all right let me let me share it with you again these are like some traits or characteristics about millennials all right so it says the ultimate list of millennials characteristics we're not like gonna read everything here but it, just for you to like hear it or see it, it says millennials, the largest generation in Western history. Millennials are the largest generation in Western history. As of 2012, it is estimated that there are approximately 80 million US millennials. We're talking about things. And 14.6 million millennials in the United Kingdom. All right. Now, uh, in 2015, millennials surpassed Generation X to become the largest share of the American workforce, according to the new research center analysis of whatever. All right, now, what I want you to see this, these are like some of the definitions or some of the, um, how do you call it, like um, adjectives that people think or the characteristics about them. Uh, millennials, they are the most educated in generation in, in history, all right? Millennials are technologically savvy. They are tech savvy, all right? When you say tech savvy, that means that you guys know a lot, of, a lot about technology, all right? Uh, when it comes to like things so common like Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, I don't know, WhatsApp, and all the Instagram and all those things, and, the, and you guys know how to deal with those things, you want to be tech savvy, all right? That's a term for people that know a lot about technology. All right, so here, uh, maybe Diana, can you read this? Um, a couple of sentences here. We are the first. Your mic, Dianita. <laughs> I'm sorry. Millennials are technologi technologically savvy. Mm -hmm. We are the first generation to grow up constantly connected to the world. And are what the Pew Research Research Center has labeled 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 digital natives in a land of digital immigrants. Without a doubt, we have embraced technology like no other generation. All right. Can you read a little bit more? Okay. Millennials really clearly adapt faster to computer and internet services because they have always had them. A global study of millennials conducted by Telefonica in, in 2000, 2014 mm -hmm. reveals that mobile technology is important to millennials across the board. And it's not all for fun and games. In addition to entertaining themselves and keeping up with social contacts, 46% of US millennials and more than 60% of Latin millennials said they used their service, their devices for research and education. All right, well, just to stop it right there, Dianita. A lot of people say that uh, the millennials, they only know how to use, you know, the, the apps, all right? But according to the research, it says, no, but you know what, millennials use the, the technology to know about education, to make research and everything. So it's faster for them to Google something all right and to study that way all right so it's that a little bit different also all right uh let's see the vast majority of millennials everywhere see themselves as being on the cutting edge of technology though they don't necessarily want tech careers so that's this is interesting right here guys this is what i was reading right here 
the vast majority, so that means that like most of the people of millennials everywhere see themselves as being on the cutting edge of technology. That means that they know about technology, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they want to pursue a career about technology. All right, maybe they want to study something else, but they know about technology. You see, there's a difference there going on, all right? Another uh, characteristic is millennials are civic oriented. Oscar, do you mind reading that? Millennial generation have a strong sense of community, both on local and global scale. Compared to previous generations, generation, millennials focus on larger social needs rather than individual needs. Mm, People right. born between 1980 and 2000 are the most civic minded since the generation of the 1930s and the 1940s. A claimer the USA Today, All the, right. the, the, the right, news. Yeah. Uh -huh. Millennials believe in the value of political engagement and are convinced that government can be powerful force for good. All right, very Holding. good. Okay, stop okay. right there, Oscarito, okay. thank you. All right, so I just wanted to show you also about this other definition or this other adjective about uh, millennials. Millennials are civic oriented. All right, so that means that they want to change the world but not only within their communities but within the whole globe you know that's what they say millennials are conscious can you read it please millennials are, are conscious yeah i don't know is if that he, for me or, or no williams but i don't know if he's able yeah. to listen to me williamsito hi <laughs> okay hi <laughs> i'm just sorry i i can my name okay uh, when it comes to health social economical and environmental issues millennials are the most conscious generation to date millennials are offer, often referred to as conscious capitalists which means that they look up to business that serve the interests of all major stakeholders customers employees investors communities suppliers and the environment. In fact, a whopping 81% expect companies to show their commitment, commitment to corporate responsibility. Mm, all right. Nielsen all right. Global Online Study found that Gen Z, Gen Z, Gen Y, Gen y I'm so sorry, be <laughs> <laughs> most willing to pay extra for sustainable offerings. Almost three out of four respondents in the let us find it up from approxi approximately, approximately 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 half in 2014. this is a generation that truly believes that it can influence the world with the power of the wallet or credit card socially conscious mindset My is name. one of their most defining traits of gen y as the most ethnically and racially uh, diverse, diverse generation in USA history. 43% of adults are now white, are non-white. Millennials have learned to embrace the difference in one another. All right, very good. Another one says the millennials are global citizens. All right, uh, Norma, do you mind reading this for us? Okay, the millennials are global citizens. The majority of millennials see themselves as a global citizens who have a responsibility to make the world better. They are less patriotic and more global minded, which enable them to contribute to the general welfare of society. Mm -hmm. A global citizen, sorry, <laughs> a global citizen respect and values diversity. Diversity. Mm -hmm. diversity is encouraged by social injustice, is willing to act to make the world a more equitable, equitable, equitable and sustainable, sustainable, sustainable. please and takes more in place and take responsibility for their actions. actions very good. Uh, so Andre, they and are, yes, they prefer, uh, are more ambientalists. 
Right, yes, right, very good, all right. Uh, Andrea, do you mind reading Millennials are entrepreneurial? Okay. Millennials are the most entrepreneurial in the generation ever. Minded. Mm -hmm. Minded generation ever. In the U.S., only 13% uh, of survey response respondents say their career goal involves climbing the corporate ladder, ladder to become a CEO or president. By contrast, almost two thirds, 67% of, of say their goal involves starting their own business. Millennials have disregarded the life and career path that, that was so formally laid out by the baby boomers and eager to make their own pathways as they see chaos, chaos, chaos and distrust of corporation, redundancy, and other bad news associated with business. All right. People's minds are open to new possibility, possibilities, exciting opportunities, and great challenge. Stop right there, Andreita, very good. So this is what they are like defined as. They are entrepreneurial. That means that they rather have their own business than work for a company, all right? If you notice, 67% of them said they want their own business, all right? And as you read, as Andreita read the last line, it says people's minds are open to new possibilities, exciting opportunities and great challenges. So millennials are the ones that are going out there and, and challenge themselves and challenge everything they, they have in a way, all right? Another one here. All right, millennials are flexible. Uh, Sil uh, Vero, do you, want, do you want to read this, please? Uh, where teacher? Millennials are flexible. Uh, millennials are, are flexible. Millennials value flexible working arrangements and freedom over the stale, the stable night to five. Mm -hmm. They want to work from remote location with no traditional hours. They are also likely to pursue flexible career path have they priorities were prioritize, life prioritize prioritize pri prioritize were life balance higher than their previous generation all right can uh, you go can, here can several like several uh -huh. several others researchers researchers uh, researchers have noted that while money is important millennials do not see money as the only source of happiness rather they feel rewarded by work arrangements that offer them more flexibility. PwC study found that 15% of male employees and 21% of female employees will heat up some of their pay and slow the pace of promotion in their careers in exchange for working fewer hours. All right. Just read this last sentence, uh, Verito, it is important. It is important to note here that requesting flexible work is a legal right for all employees in the UK. In the United Kingdom. Very in, good. In That's the, interesting. Yes. Did you, do you guys understand the last line? It is important to note here that requesting flexible work is legal. It's a legal right. So people in the United Kingdom they can say, you know what? I want flexible hours and it's okay. All right, it's legal, just like in El Salvador. <laughs> all right, so guys, let's go to UK, all right? Let's, that's interesting. All right, so here, uh, pragmatic idealists and we have million, millennials are authentic and we have millennials are transparent. And then we have, they're liberal, all right? They believe more like, they, they believe in many other things that maybe the past generations didn't. Uh, they're compassionate, they're progressive, all right? We have, they're confident. So if you notice, they're diverse, all right? So if you notice, there are many, many characteristics of millennials, all right? Now, one of the uh, videos we're going to watch perhaps tomorrow as or as we go on the, on these uh, days, we're going to be talking about how millennials behave at work, all right? And what 
ask for because a lot of i mean maybe not in el salvador i'm not sure because let's see that where i work it's most of us are not millennials i think most of us are generation x i mean the, the teachers i'm talking about the teachers not about the administrative people so i think we i don't see like a very like di a big diversity between uh, generations but i guess in your job places and this is what we're going to be talking on the few in a couple of days how do you deal with millennials how do you deal with the other generations how do they relate with each other all right so that's quite interesting now what i want you guys to do for the last five minutes but you know what i didn't take attendance oh no but normita is here nancy yeah. elizabeth hi ellie yeah you're here <laughs> yeah eric alirio perez diaz eric mauricio paredes hernandez no Tepas. Thank you. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Jose Luis, Jose Luis. Present teacher. Thank you. Moises Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Present. Oscar, Present thank you. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Oscarito. Present. There he is. All right. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present. Very good. Diana Gabriel Hernandez Morales. Present. Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. Present. Williams Alexander Rodriguez Argueta. Present. Francisca Irene Lima Hernandez. No. All right. Uh, let me see. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. No. Jennifer Carolina Acosta Bonilla. No. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present. All right. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martinez. Verónica Lisset Soto Serna. Present. Thank you. Anubia Araceli eh, Cortez Amaya. Nubia, Nubia. All right, guys. Eh, when we talk about, we, we saw some of the. Um, characteristics or definitions about millennials for the ones that are millennials and of course for the ones that we're not uh, the characteristics that we just read for example tech savvy uh, civic oriented entrepreneur excuse me entrepreneurial flexible do you agree guys that that's how you guys are like the ones that are millennials and how we that are not millennials do you do we agree that they are like that for the ones that we deal with uh, this type of generation. All right. And, and Norma, that we're not millennials, all right? And what about the millennials? Do you guys agree with all these definitions about civic-oriented, entrepreneurial, all right, um, flexible and stuff? What do you guys think? Diana, what do you think? I think that, yes, we are like, uh, entrepre entre entrepreneurial entrepreneurial <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> because we are like searching for uh, having our own businesses okay and the oldest generations they are like um, hoping to have a job and mm -hmm. and having having it for a l very long time and mm. have the, the highest positions in the company okay and right. I think that we are like, we are like searching for a purpose in our jobs. Okay. That our jobs have uh, like a, like a, a good impact in the environment, for example, mm -hmm. and that our job has, has to have a meaning. All right. Has to have a meaning. All right. Very has good. Has to have a meaning. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? for the other definitions and the other things that we saw on the article? I think it almost is true because uh, the generation found to know more, to learning, mm -hmm. uh, to help another people. Uh, they don't have, um, I don't know how to say, but they don't find to marry, for example, uh, uh, because they want to study, they want to know, they want to travel, they want to. Mm, all right. To, 
to follow the, the dreams or okay all that. right okay interesting all right what about you guys and the, the other like definitions they were talking about tech savvy that one we all know that it's true all right most of you uh, that are millennials, you were born with technology, all right? We were born with internet, you were born with computers, you were born with iPhones, or you were born with phones, all right? Cell phones. So we know you are tech savvy, but what about the other ones? Do you think you need flexibility of the type of work and the amount of hours, or that doesn't, that doesn't say anything about you guys? Like, it personally wise, I'm not saying about the whole like generation, but I'm talking about you that belong to that generation. For me, I think that the, the, the flexibility is really important. Okay. Because I have, like I mentioned, like I mentioned to you, I have, I had a, a job in another Right. Company. And the main reason for, uh, I quit mm -hmm. was because they don't give me, they didn't, they didn't think, give you uh -huh, the flexibility of hours that I, I think that I need. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So for me, that that's really important. All right. Okay. What about the other uh, millennials that we have in class? Is flexibility important? Verito, what do you say? Yes, I I think the. The flexibility is, it's important. All right, okay. All right, Jesse, in your case. <laughs> yes, it's so very necessary to have the flexibility because you need to have to all time to that's all. all right, very good. Anybody else about flexibility? Or what about like the other things that we saw, like uh, here from here on? What about these ones right here? Entrepreneurial, global city sense. Do you feel like that? Conscious about the environment, about the global warming, about everything else. Do you guys feel conscious about it? Do you feel that your generation is like that? civic oriented all right tech is tech savvy all right so what do you think about that guys do you feel your conscience about the environment about everything else or not really okay most of most <clears throat> most of those uh, characteristics mm -hmm. i think they are uh, they fight for for their rights yeah, and that is good that is good okay because it's, that's uh that's uh how to say a characteristic that i like okay. from 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 millennials right they fight for their rights and they fight for they believe that is 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 right okay yeah you're right mm -hmm. Oscar. yeah very good all right and that's what makes it different from like our generation all right maybe we're like more you know we were just educated to obey <laughs> and to follow rules all right so that's interesting all right guys so tomorrow we're gonna keep on talking about millennials and how they behave at the workplaces we're gonna uh, we're gonna see a couple of videos there's one that is really funny that i when i was looking at it i was like laughing because i'm like thinking are they like that really and you guys are gonna tell me because it talks about your uh, generation all right so don't feel offended if you're not like that <laughs> but it's it's quite interesting all right so thank you so much for being in class again thank you for uh two more hours with me and everything we have um this week three more days of this week and next week and that's it all right so it's very important so i hope guys that you're also working on the platform and everything so try to do uh on the uh, tarea that it belongs for tonight I think it talks, if I don't remember wrong, it talks about the definitions we just talked about, uh, about millennials, about self-centered, about self-entitled, and uh, we need ignorant and all that. So it shouldn't be difficult because the definition is there and you just do the matching, all right? So try to do the tarea as you finish the class so you don't have to work on many tareas on the weekend, all right? 
So thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. So think about how you behave at work, millennials. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Have a good Bye. night. Bye. 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 Bye.